Hey guys, I'm LB, and let's check out Tractor Fun by Senexo. Hello there, I've made this test with the standard Portal 2 Puzzle Maker. It features some basic elements like the tractor beam and fizzlers. Beam mod was used for changing small things such as the voice lines. All other test elements are in the Puzzle Maker already. I want to thank these people for inspiring me, Demon Arisen, and LB. I thank you. Created by Senexo and Noodle1978. Wait, is this a collaboration? Why does it seem like the description is written by one person? Well, anyway, I suppose we will figure it out as we go along. Hopefully there's not voice lines. Hopefully by B mod they removing- they meant removing voice lines rather than adding. This next test involves emancipation. Yeah, not a fan of the voice lines. I've heard them a million times. Right. Guess we just jump down, right? Can get back up easily enough. Whee! So this drops a cube, apparently. I'm guessing it doesn't auto-respawn. Oh well. We have wet. One. Yep. Tired of hearing those. Alright, what do we have over here? Like, why would you install Bmod just to add the voice lines that everybody hates? <laughs> That's what I don't understand. And this... There we go, I see. Hmm, that is a bit of a problem, though. We need to get a cube to get a cube. What does that do? What does that do? Why is the signage on the back? You should have put, like, an antline blocker here- an, a B-mod antline blocker on this side, so that the signage would end up on this side instead. But anyway, X goes to... what exactly? Oh, it goes up there, apparently. Ooh, oh, okay. Well, let's see what's up top first of all. Hmm. It's kinda hard to tell from this vantage point. There's a button up there. I suppose that's worth keeping in mind, right? Do that. Uh, hmm. There we go. We have a cube now. We have a cube which we can use to get a cube, right? I believe so. So now it's a forward funnel. Go ahead and drop down here. Walk all the way over here. There we go. So we've got a cube with the other cube we got. Right, let's go ahead and put this here for now. And usually it's back up top is just jump up through here. Grab this guy. And now the question is, which cube do we want where? Yes. So let's first of all do something like this, right? Let's at least get the cube up there in the first place, past the fizzler. And then we can pull the other cube to us like normal and put it up here, right? Yeah, let's hop down here. Do this. Get this cube to us. Come on. Jump down here, put that there, and now, theoretically, we should be able to easily get up here, right? Yep, that worked out just fine. And I believe this opens the exit, right? Yes indeed, alright. Well, that was pretty straightforward. Go ahead and head back up here, and we should be able to get out of here now. There we go. Alright. So, I think it is way too big for what it is. 
Like, does this need to be so far away from over here? I think- I think that's a lot of walking. I think, as I've said, the signage could be better. Like, for some reason, it defaulted to putting the signage on the furthest side. This is okay, this is just an antline to the exit, that's fine. But this, the signage should really be on this side. You can just do that with an antline blocker, instead of a light strip or whatever. Uh, this one, you might want to move the signage to over here, perhaps, just so it's more visible to the player. And, uh... What about this one? How's this one? This was just an antline, that's fine. I think it's a little bit... a little bit too simple, but otherwise it's fine. Right, well, let's get out of here then. Alright, well guys, as always, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye! Oh yeah, turn off the GLaDOS dialogue, people are tired of it. <laughs>